Let's now talk about factorial notation. If n is a positive integer, then n factorial is defined as n factorial. It looks like an exclamation mark is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 all the way up to dot 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 n minus 1 times n. Note, 0 factorial is defined as 1. So let's see how this factorial works. We've defined 0 factorial as 1. 1 factorial is simply 1 as well. 2 factorial is 2 times 1. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. 4 factorial is, well, by the way, 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24. 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is essentially 24 times 5, or 120. 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 720. So these are pretty good ones to know offhand. 0 factorial is 1, 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2, 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial is 24, 5 factorial is 120, 6 factorial is 720. Look what I'm doing. I'm just taking the digit and I'm multiplying by positive integers down to 1. The digit 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Multiplying by the rest of the positive integers down to 1. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times the rest of the positive integers down to 1 and I stop. 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. 2 times the rest of the positive integers down to 1. And this is the one that you might say, wait, I don't understand. That doesn't make sense. So best just to be wary that 0 factorial is defined as 1. Careful. With factorials, parentheses matter. For example, this is 2 times n factorial, which is 2 times, well, what is n factorial? It would be n dot 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 times 3 times 2 times 1. See how I'm writing that sort of backwards there? And this would be 2n times dot 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 all the way down to 3 times 2 times 1. So we've just got to be careful. If there's parentheses, we've got to respect them when we're doing factorial. What if we were asked to list the first five terms of this sequence defined by a n, the general term, is equal to 2 to the n divided by n factorial? Well, a 1 would be 2 to the 1 over 1 factorial, which is 2 over 1, which is 2. Good thing we know 1 factorial is 1. A2 is 2 squared over 2 factorial, which is 4 over 2 times 1, which is 2, or 4 over 2. A3 is 2 to the 3rd over 3 factorial, which is 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, divided by 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 8 over 6, or simplifies to 4 over 3. And a4, I'm running out of room here, is a to the fourth over 4 factorial, which is, uh, I'm sorry, that's 2 to the fourth, not a to the fourth. 2 to the fourth is 16 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 16 over 24, which we could simplify to 2, uh, two over 3. If we're asked to simplify this fraction, with 8 factorial in the top and 2 factorial times 6 factorial on the denominator, of course we could write it all out. 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by, this is 2 times 1, times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And of course, because these are multiplication, these will cancel, and I can say 2 cancels with 8 to give me 4 times 7 is 28. That's one way to do it. However, I don't like to work that hard. I think I'd rather cancel first. Notice what 8 factorial is. It's 8 times 7 times what? 
times six factorial because we know that this six factorial is six times five times four times three times two times one. So I could write eight factorial as eight times seven times six factorial over two times one times six factorial. And now these will cancel and two goes into eight four times. Again, I do get the answer 28, but I save some effort by writing eight factorial as eight times seven times six factorial. Now, see if you follow me here, I'm gonna get a little sneaky. Simplify this, n factorial over n minus one factorial. Well, what is n factorial? It's n times the next one down. If we put a 10 in for n, then we have 10 times nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. If we put a 12 in for n, it'd be 12 times 11, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the next one down is going to be the next smaller integer that's positive times the next one would be n minus two, then n minus three, et cetera. Just as I did with digits in the last problem, I can say n minus one factorial, sorry, n factorial is n times n minus one factorial over n minus one factorial, and these will cancel to, to give me n. Don't believe me? Put in some numbers. Say n was 10. 10 factorial over 9 factorial is the same as 10 times 9 factorial over 9 factorial, which would give me 10. I'm doing this same problem, but instead of using concrete numbers, I'm using n's. So this is an important concept to see that n factorial can be read as can be written as n times the next one down factorial, which means you're going to continue on to zero. If I put it n equals 10, then the next one down will be 9 factorial. But I like you to think in terms of variables only. Very sneaky. Oh, what a great problem this is. If I give you the sequences 1 4 2 7 6 12 24 19 120 over 28, dot, dot, dot means this is an infinite sequence, goes on forever. I've only been given the first, second, third, fourth, fifth the first five terms, and I'm asked to come up with the general term. Remember, we're looking for an expression, an. In these cases, I try to find a way to separate the numerator from the denominator. Sometimes I think, well, there may be two different rules going on. Let's see, one, two, six, 24, 128. How can I connect the numerators one with one, and the term number two with the numerator of the term, three with the numerator of the term, four with the numerator of the term, five with the numerator of the term. That's my goal. Oh, wait a second. That's simply the factorial notation. That's n factorial. One factorial is one, two factorial, two times one, three factorial, three times two times one, four factorial, four times three times two times one, five factorial, five times four times three times two times one. Oh boy, the denominator, 4, 7, 12, 19, 28. Boy, those are going up. My jump is 3, and then 5, and then 7, and then 11. Ah, oh boy, what could this be? Ah, wait a second. 1 squared plus 3 is 4. 2 squared plus 3 is 7. 3 squared plus 3 is 12. 4 squared plus 3 is 19. 5 squared plus 3, ah, yeah, it's just n squared plus 3. Boy, I figured that out by splitting the numerator from the denominator and thinking about patterns I know.